Hey, what is up guys? So we are going to be doing a deck profile on the new Light Sworns, and this is actually a pretty interesting build. Uh, we got two new Light Sworns in the mix. We got Raiden from Metal Gear, and we've got Minerva over here, the Light Sworn Maiden. Uh, she's not so good. They actually changed her effect, but you can stack some people really hard with the build that I've actually made. The way I've designed this deck is to go for a really nasty first turn play to the point where your opponent just quits, because, uh, you know, against Light Sworn, sometimes you don't open up with the best hand it happens, but the way I've designed this is to be more consistent on throwing up a first turn threatening field that your opponent simply just can't beat because you have just too many cards in the graveyard and you've milled so many cards. So basically this is like the too fast too furious version of Lightsworn. You can make it even faster if you technically wanted to play Needlebug Nest, but I figure it's not really necessary because Raiden and Minerva open up some really dirty combos with each other and uh, also Raiden plus Garoth is really dirty. Uh, Lumina, Garoth, and um, the uh, Minerva open up another dirty combo, which uh, if you guys want to check out some videos, uh, there's just too much draw power with Garoth and too much uh, extra milling with Minerva, plus it combos off of Garoth, and if you mill two more and you mill another Minerva, you get to mill two more, and then you get to draw two more, it becomes really broken. So what I've done with this deck, it's probably not the most conventional build like I mentioned before, it's something completely different that I haven't seen anyone try out before. I've seen a lot of players uh, cut this card, and I understand why, because it, it's not so great for adding the JD anymore, it's basically used as a utility card now uh, when you mill it uh, in the combination with Garoth, and that's what I've really tried to do with it by main decking triple Lumina, triple Garoth, triple Minerva, and triple uh, Raiden from Metal Gear over here. So anyways, let's go ahead and get started with the deck profile. I'll explain the choices as we go along. So first off, we have a triple Judgment Dragon. He's, you know, self-explanatory. You don't really need any explanation for him. And then triple Celestia. If you guys are wondering, why is there triple Celestia? That is a technically a dead card. Yes, I'll agree with you. But since you play triple Wolf, and I'm also playing Foolish, and I've cut Raiko down to one because Raiko is a slow card. The way I looked at it is I'm hoping to mill a wolf or have foolish to hit wolf and then hit a Celestia before I drop my JD and it usually makes it game. If Celestia goes through, or even if it doesn't go through, it eats up one in the back row. And I've also cut, uh, you can see I've cut Lila down to one because I don't because right now people are setting so much back row to the point where I don't want to just go, okay, Lila pop one, attempt to summon JD into other back row. I'd really just go all in, no fear, summon JD. If JD doesn't go through, I'm going to throw up a Carnation and add back a JD anyways. So uh, I like to go for a Celestia play before I go for a JD. And I like this card a lot because, like I said, guys, I'm only playing one Raikou and against Evil Swarms, uh, you know, you could still go for a Foolish and then uh, go for a Celestia play. Or if you happen to get lucky and you mill one with, you know, any of the cards you can mill with, uh, you can still drop a Celestia and sack your opponent pretty hard, depending on what you mill. Because if you mill Wolves with this, man, you're good to go, too. Um, I really like this card. It, it's an awesome card. But you can cut this card if you want. No, I don't blame you for cutting it, because it can be a dead draw uh, if you don't happen to have, uh, you know, cards to uh, get in the graveyard. Or basically mill Wolf early on. Uh, next up, we have Triple Garoth, because like I said, this is a non-conventional build. It uses the... Um, it abuses Raiden and Minerva really hard. Uh, the reason why there's Triple Garoth is because Luma into Garoth, which is a really standard play for Light Sworn, it does combo off of uh, the Maiden over here. So if I go Lumina, um, discard uh, Minerva, get back Garoth. Um, Garoth then gets Special Summon, Minerva effects activates. So I mill um, uh, one for Minerva, then Garoth's effects trigger, so I mill two more, and then I can potentially draw more cards. So it's really OP in that aspect. Next up, just one Jane. Uh, I don't really feel a Jane necessary. If it ran over Ophion, I'd play multiple Janes, but uh, Jane is really, like, mediocre for me. I mean, it goes over, like, Thunder King, but, like, like I said, it's pretty much, like, all I care about is getting out a first for Nasty Field. It is a warrior, so you can technically make uh, other cards, like Blade Armor, uh, if you really wanted to th throw out an extra deck. I didn't really feel it was necessary. Uh, next up, Triple Raiden. This card makes the deck so much better because if you get to go for a first turn Raiden play, or even if you stack a Wolf or Plague Spreader, um, you can go ahead and make some really nasty plays. If you mill Wolf, you can go for a... Um, pretty much, you have access to like a lot of the stuff in the extra deck, which is actually really awesome in this deck because uh, he is a tuner. If you mill Wolf off this, like if you go someone right and mill Wolf, you have instant access to any uh, level 8 Synchro Monster, and the most relevant ones in the game right now are probably just Crimson Blader. Um, and I didn't really have any room in the extra deck, otherwise I would probably play Catastrophe also, but uh, yeah, this card is just, it's an awesome card, um, because, you know, being able to mill really fast early on, and then on top of that, if you mill this, and then this mills Wolf, you still have access, it's just, like I said, I like to abuse uh, the, the new cards really, really, really hard, and that's the point of this build. Uh, next up, like I said, one Lila, because I don't like running to back row, uh, that's just, there's too many back row, and I don't want to go Lila pop one. Um, there's one Aaron. Uh, I really don't think this card is necessary. You can cut it. Although sometimes I do like when people try to go for Zen mains uh, because what's really popular is if they have an effect for their in hand, uh, if you summon Judgment Dragon, you'll activate its effect. 
they'll let it go through, uh, if they have a Zen mains, and then you'll activate its effect again, and then they'll effect Baylor, and then you'll just attack over the Zen mains, and then the Zen mains won't have any attachments on it, but during the end phase, they can still pop one card. So, um, I, I don't know, I like it against Zen mains and anything that sets, but I don't think it's really necessary, to be honest. Uh, next up, it's just an extra name, because sometimes you can get that effect of Monera. I've got it zero times successfully that I needed, you know, to use to be able to game someone with it. By the time you have, you know, eight light swarms with different names, I mean, you should be, you know, in a pretty good position, and if you haven't mailed a JD by then, uh, man, you, you're pretty lucky. But yeah, if it does work off, it's pretty nice. But it no longer gets the effect when it's special summoned, and it does happen to have, uh, it needs light swarms with different names. Before, it was just, if you just, re it just requires light swarm monsters, and then it will, its effect activated was normal or special, so you can Lumina into it, and it was really OP. And at that point, I was playing HTS, which you can play in here. I uh, just want to show you guys this card. Oh. I actually don't know, it's, it's HTS, is it? Yeah, there we go. Uh, Sidemuth. So, yeah, you can play this card if you wanted to. Uh, it's just a generic uh, level 6 Synchro Monster. We don't know the effect of the Light Sworn Synchro Monster, so maybe that'll make this card much better. Uh, next up, Triple Gardener, because Gardener is OP when you mill it first turn. And keeping uh, your certain cards alive sometimes is really important because you can sack next turn for Celestia, which, you know, I love Celestia because I love dropping it before a JD. Uh, next up, one Plague Spreader. You can play two if you want. I just think one's, like, sufficient for me because when I usually go for my Plague Spreader effect, it's either because I need to make a play or I'm going to OT them. Uh, next up, one Raikou. It's I don't like it because it's slow, and I figured you know if I just throw in the Celestias, it's all good. Just pop the Ophion. Next up, Triple Solar, uh, Triple Monster Incarnation. I love this card so much. It works off of this card, and if you have Gareth on the field, you get to mill an additional two cards and then potentially draw two cards. Uh, like I said, I'm abusing these new two cards. Uh, next up, Gold Sark. Uh, if I have a really awful hand, I go for this. If I have a you know hand where I can go for JD, I just Gold Sark JD. This is for Wolf or you know if, if you know, is this is um. Uh, sent from your hand or deck to the graveyard gets its effect. So, you know, if you really need to, you have Garroth on the board. You know, like I said, I, I like to abuse Garroth in this card. That's that's the point of this build. Uh, then we have Charter Light Brigade, and then just a really sacky card, Backing Light. Uh, you add back Triple JD, and your opponent is, or Triple JD Honest, and just, you add broken cards, and you discard your awful cards like these or these. Uh, or this, this can be awful sometimes. But, uh, yeah, it just works really well. Uh, as far as the extra deck goes, um, I'll go over the, some of the cards that are important. This card's important. Crimson Blader is important. Uh, Star Leech is pretty awesome. Uh, this card is awesome because, you know, top decking JD is good. Uh, this card is pretty mean sometimes if you can get back a Necrogard now that you've already banished, so you can really stall hard if you want to. Uh, this card is, is nice sometimes. Uh, this card is really good. It lets you also pop Wolf if you want to, um, which is awesome. But uh, as far as the extra deck goes, I use this probably the most, honestly. Uh, I've been using Mistworm the most because it's just Mistworm for a game and it, it works wonders, uh, especially when you can uh, mill those uh, free wolves and, you know, this card is a tuner, so, you know, it allows you for a lot of combos to make a uh, Mistworm. A lot of times you need Plague Spreader, <laughs> most of the time, but if you haven't have Lumina and you can, you know, have the right cards on the field, you can technically make it without Plague Spreader. But this has been the deck profile for the newer Light Swarms. I will be uh, doing another video uh, for regular Light Swarms because obviously this is not out yet. Uh, I would love to go into this in ranked and just sack people as hard as possible. One card I do want to mention, guys, because Light Swarm will get popular, uh, honestly, any deck that has Wabuku has a good matchup, because uh, at one point people were citing threatening roars, Wabukus against Light Swarm, they would just play this uh, idea of decking uh, Light Swarm out. You can add this card in, um, Sun Dragon, uh, of Heliopolis, so you can overload two JDs, that way you don't mill. I just figured I'd mention it because, you know, yeah, mi milling too much sometimes is not good because you will deck yourself out. So I just wanted to uh, mention that card. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Have some fun sacking with uh, this deck. Uh, obviously, like I said, this is a completely different build that uh, I haven't seen anyone play. You might see, looking at this, it looks weird, but I promise you guys, this card is so abusable with Geralt, it's it, it's going to get hit. I, I have a feeling uh, Light Sworn is going to get hit because, you know, it is a really popular deck in OCG, although technically we run a different list now, so I don't know. And obviously in the, OC uh, the TCG, Light Sworn has always been there. There's always times where you will run into a Light Sworn deck, and now with more support, uh, a lot more players will be interested in playing the deck. So, hope you enjoyed getting sacked by Light Sworn. Um, another thing I want to mention, Roach uh, is a pretty good card against Light Sworn at certain times, but the problem is they will just XYZ now, especially with the options that they have uh, with the sackiness of this card plus Milling Wolf. But... Andrew Light, uh, if you guys want a good side deck card against Light Sworn, honestly, I think Starlight Road is one of the best cards because, you know, Judgment Dragon gonna blow up the field and then you get a free Stardust. It's pretty nasty for them. But, thanks for watching, guys. Asian Eyes, signing out.